Hello, hello! Welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie and Claire! Hey. <laughs> we're so excited to be in person today. It is Sunday, July 30th, and we're at my house in Illinois, and we're so excited to have mom and dad visit. And we got to do some stamping today. We actually stamped with all three of my daughters, um, Claire, Elise, and Anna, but only Claire wanted to appear on video with, with us today. <laughs> Um, but we've got lots of projects to share with you and Hola. we actually are filming this at the end of filming all the other segments of today's video and because it is such a long video, I think we're just going to cut right to yes, um, sharing the product that we're going to feature today. So here we go. So here we go. Let me show you what we're going to use today. We had a lot of fun making these projects. <laughs> Um, pages 46 and 47 of the annual catalog. It is called Zoo Crew. And it is, it's a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some wonderful samples in the book. Um, and um, just a lot of fun things in this one. I mean, look at the stamp set. I'm going to show it to you live and in person. But um, it's just fun. They're just a bunch of fun little friends. And the DSP, I'll show you that as well. And then some coordinating ribbon to go with all of it. So again, pages 46 and 47. And this is a suite. So if you want the whole thing, the stamp set, the dies, the paper, the ribbons, one number, 161319. And that is one order number and you get everything. All right. And this is when the dies were kind of uh, not available for a little while. For but a little bit, back. but they're back. Um, yes. It's been a really popular one. It has. So let's take a peek. All right, so here is this fun stamp set. It is a cling. There's 11 stamp sets. There's three greetings, something great to celebrate you. You're too wonderful. Happy birthday to you and a lot of fun animals. And then dies to coordinate with it. That cut out, I do believe, most of them. They're all the stamped ones, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, so there's some extra pieces, some trees, a, a, a stool. Like a stool or a... Um... Table, or, side yeah. table. Yeah. Um, anyway, yes. It looks like a cloud, some flowers, a balloon, two balloons. So lots of fun stuff on this one. Oh, this is nuts. And um, the paper. Oh, I love this paper. So there are, uh, this is, it comes in 12 by 12. However, uh, we cut it down to 6 by 6 to show you. But just, you know, each sheet has kind of a different theme going on. So this is, you know, juggling and celebrating. And this one is transportation. So I love how the bunny is you can, <laughs> it's going two different directions. Uh, seems like me some days. And, oh. little fox. <laughs> and um, this one, this creativity or, you know, relaxation. I was telling Anna earlier. Hobbies is what I was calling Oh, it. hobbies. I keep, thank you. My producer is having me move things down. <laughs> Um, this one, I was telling Anna earlier, this reminds me of her. Oh, it does. Doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That little sweetie. And then music. Mm. We have uh, singing or karaoke. Um, a frog doing the flute. <laughs> Bongos. <laughs> this bear. That <laughs> cracks me up. And we have camping in nature with the trees and the pig and the lion and some mountains. You can really even create some scenes. It's hard to see this one, but Claire said that was her favorite with this. Oh, with the <laughs> butterflies. A little, like, hamster. You can see the other side yeah, of it. Yeah, it has oh. the net, so he's, like, catching butterflies. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. And, you know, I even, I just missed that altogether mm -hmm. in this he's paper. He's so cute and tiny. And did you already say this is a 12 by 12 paper? I did. Yeah. I did. And then we have some dancers. And I used uh, this paper to make uh, a card for my great niece for her birthday because she mm. takes ballet lessons. So. There's two, oh, we should have just brought out the bigger paper. There's two animals missing. The moose oh, the and the oh, little yeah. sheep. I was so going to say, cute. which ones are these? They're yeah. cut off. Oh, oh they I are. One leg. Oh, no. Well, trust us. Yeah. <laughs> and then the back side has got this all black and white in, in neutral designs that can be used for anything. I but think that's one this. of my favorite parts of the paper is combining the bright colors with these black and white. Yeah, which of course you know you can color too, if you are mm -hmm. you so desire to do that. Okay, so this oh I forgot this beautiful ribbon. 
isn't this sweet? In uh, petal pink, I think. Mm-hmm. Petal pink so. and um, lemon lime twist. Lemon lime twist. Yeah. Yes. Nice and soft. Two different widths on it, so you can, you know, use them for whatever time together. Kind of nice. All right, we have a lot of swaps. Oh my gosh, I do. <laughs> this one has been so much fun. I, and like it I said, been. it's been a favorite. It has been. All right, so this first card, boy, I can't remember who did this. This was a one-on-one -on -one swap we did with our our um, Impeccable Stampers group. No, the Jubilant Stampers. Oh, Jubilant yeah. Stampers. I get them all mixed up. <laughs> anyway, um, we think that it might be April Booth, but I love it. I love using this punch that I always forget the name Decorative of. Circle Decorative punch. Circle Punch. Mm -hmm. And just the ribbon. Look at that. How sweet is that? With some of the black and white. Something great to celebrate you. And then this is one that I actually made for the cruise swap. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, I used some of the new glitter gems on it. And this was the same style I did for my great niece, except with the ballerina and I mm. had dancers. So it was the same layout. Um, but I just, I had a lot of fun with this. Stamped some musical notes and then happy birthday to you. I'm up too high again. <laughs> this was uh, Janice uh, McCollum mm -hmm. sent me this for my birthday. Isn't that pretty? I love that with the torn leaves. It reminds me of the Masterfully Made. Yeah, it remember. does. It yeah. does. And she, um, I don't know if she wrote the note in here. No, she didn't. It was a loose paper. It was, it yes. That she, oh, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, she got her inspiration from another demonstrator and she told me and I don't remember who but basically she just tore she embossed some cardstock and then tore some other cardstock and then did a vellum scalloped rectangle to put her on just so feminine so girly girl mm -hmm. this one is from Dina Rico. Dina Rico from the creativity cave mostly black and white so a little splash of color with the balloons and she went Costello them too so lots of fun there. And she put a little celebration uh, image on the inside. These are mine. Oh, <laughs> these are Julie's. This okay. Next set, yeah, with the doodling. Oh, so you made this? Yeah, I did some you doodling. You did some doodling. Around the edges. It's really funny because when Anna and I walked into your office, we saw like the borders and Anna was like, Oh, was that a stamp? That's cool. <laughs> and mom cool? was like, "No, I drew that." And she did I not came believe in, me. <laughs> and I came in and I was like, "Wait a second. The border you you drew the border? That's not a stamp." And I was like, "I thought that was just like pre-printed like on it or something." But, but isn't no. that fun? I just used the new basic black marker with the fine tip. I love those new markers. Oh, I do too. So how fun is that? Nice job, Julie. Thank you. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, there's the sheep. There's the sheep. This, yep. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. All right. And then we have this one. Grandma's doing some knitting. And this is from... Me. You. Oh, Julie. <laughs> You'll just have to tell me if it's somebody else's. So. The next few are mine. Yeah, okay. So, again, you know, torn edges, just, just a lot of fun. I don't knit. I can't knit at all. Thomas's girlfriend knits, Elise. She does such a great job. Yeah. She's working on something secret. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Julie, she this I love this technique with different um, black and white paper strips just to make a background, and this fun little fox who's having fun on his little Vespa. <laughs> I think it's a Vespa. We'll call it a Vespa. Yes. <laughs> and you're too wonderful with this alligator crocodile. Not sure. Nice, nice, nice. And this some, one is, I think, Joyce Farrakko. Okay. So she popped up a little frog here. I actually added the frog. <gasps> oh, did you? Oh, Julie. I did. Look at that. Ta da! Isn't that? I love that. I just felt like you needed something. You needed a little kind, something, something there? Kind of popping over. I like this a lot. Like the little surprise on the inside. Yeah. 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 Jinxies. <laughs> We're all like, yeah. <laughs> so turn cute. it over. Um, so this one is, okay. Yeah, April, April Booth. Booth. Okay, this is, yeah. Uh, uh, so maybe the other one must have been somebody else. Maybe, yeah. 
I, I don't know that I got this one. This one is copied from the um, catalog. Oh, In fact, yeah. if you bring in the catalog, you can see she did um, casing the catalog, and so she just changed up the colors. Um, and fussy cut all those all those cute little dancers, but I love the curtains. I haven't used those dies yet So she did cut the curtains and then the flowers in the background yeah. Such a special card and those little tiny like curtain Oh, yeah, curtain that's what those are on yeah. that dies like, okay. <laughs> Oh, a little worm, <laughs> a little worm. A little worm. <laughs> Well, there you go. There you go. And this is just a fun one. Just uh, and this one's from um, Kelly, Kelly Atchison. Atchison. I love the little bling in there, just to give it a little pizzazz. Yeah, I like how she used the whole um, piece of designer paper yes. for the card print. Yeah, yeah. I like doing that too. This one, I love this one. This one's from Joe Williams, and um, Julie and I were talking earlier. We always associate this embossing folder with the musical notes with Christmas. Yeah. I think maybe it came out in a holiday yes. catalog, mm -hmm. but how perfect is this to go with this just DSP with the music? Yeah. I mean, it's great. That is perfect. Yeah, it is. I think I would have moved this over here though. I don't know if I would have put that on the, oh, but that's what she did. Can I move it? No. no more. <laughs> Um, look at this one. This one is Mel Lampert, and wow, uh, she's got all the critters, and just, you know, oh, she just put them up there. Uh, looks like they're all dimen on dimensionals. Yeah, they feel like they are. And happy birthday to you with some of the ribbon. How sweet is that? <laughs> this cracks me. <laughs> look at this guy. Holy cow, this is from Sandy Jacobson, and this is like a, um, excuse me. kind of like a, like a diorama, diorama kind, of. Yeah. kind of, so if you look this tent. way, like a tent card, a tent card. Mm -hmm. yep, and she's got a piece of acrylic in here, and she's got it, you know, scored and folded, or maybe she's got two pieces glued together, uh, just to make, so if you want to stand it up on display. Uh, it's amazing. I know. I love. I love I how love she kind this. of set the stage too with the um, with the, the curtains. curtains and the um, the people on the side. That's, That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. Wow. So those are yes. People have been busy and loving this one. So we had some spa uh, special time stamping with um, the girls. Uh, Claire is um, decided to join us on camera. The other two did their cards and said bye. <laughs> so this one was Anna's. And she is so talented. She cut all of these out and just figured out what she wanted to do. The happy birthday to you in Lum and Lolly. And she added some musical notes. After she got them all on there, she's like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, she did. She said, here. She handed off her card and she left at the table. We made such a mess, though. It was so fun. It was. To it was sit and craft mess. together. And it we was. don't get to do that, especially with the girls very often. No, so. not very often. So this was fun. fun. So this one is Elisa's. And the next several actually are hers. She was busy. She was just cranking them out. She went to town. I was really surprised because usually she doesn't sit and stamp with us. And today she just was going. Yeah, she, yeah, she was. Going These nice. animals are so cute. They she are. colored a bunch, and she was like, "I mean, I have to make them all." Yeah. They're yeah. so special. And yeah, she said, "I can't stop." <laughs> and finally, it was like dinner. I was like, "Okay, yeah. <laughs> you're done." Um, and this one, look at this. She colored the little flowers in. I love how she colored the chevron, and oh, she yeah. drew the she radio. Drew that. Isn't that amazing? She drew that. Oh, that's that's that how so talented awesome. these girls are. But Amy I love came it. Up and she was like, I thought that was a stamp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, she just added color just to, yeah. Oh, she's so good. <laughs> oh, the curtain, which is actually really not from the die. She just took, um, there's a die that has the scallop edges. And so she layered a couple of them together. And happy birthday to you with a lot of confetti and the cupcakes. Just, <sighs> they're so good. I'm so proud of them. Wait till you see Claire's. 
<laughs> She's going to demonstrate, though. All right, so this uh, ma little master baker here is making a cake for whoever gets this card for their birthday with a little scalloped rectangle in there. And just added a little of the scallop. Yeah, just ca carried that theme over. She likes scallops, doesn't she? Well, I think that was just a scrap that she found in the white oh. bin. But yeah, she was just kind of like putting pieces together, like whatever she found. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love it. She started by stamping and coloring. Yes. And then then she was just putting things together. Yeah, and she was. I love that llama. Yeah. <laughs> I, the hot pink is so pretty. It, really is. Oh, it, it is, is awesome. funny. Especially she, against the blue chair. Oh, yeah. it's great. <laughs> and she carried that hot pink over. She just... Um, made some dots in between the black and white mm -hmm. dots and then again she colored some of the flowers so ah anyway that's just part of it so are you ready for us to show you what we've made yes <laughs> let's let claire dig in first i can't wait for you to see her card all right hi <laughs> <laughs> Claire's a little nervous. You've done this before. Though. I have done this before, but I don't do it a lot. I don't yeah. do it enough to where I would feel comfortable just like, hey guys, it's me. I'm back. And today we're going to do a slider card. <laughs> well, that sounded perfect. So tell us what we're going to do today. We're going to do a slider card. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked out this little fox because I just thought it was the cutest and he's there on his little moped and I just, I love it. You anyway. kind of thought this wasn't a stamp. This is just a designer, yes, I designer wanted paper only. to color the moped purple because I thought orange and purple would look kind of mm. cool together because I feel like that's a color combination that a lot of people don't like to try, but I kind of like the way they look together. Um, anyway, so I was, I was upset that it wasn't a stamp, but I may do with what we had. Anyway, I decided that this one's going to be blue so that it would match the little moped. Um, and I decided since he's on a vehicle that I wanted to make him like move back and forth across the little car or the little card. There's a D at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so you colored in the moped, right? Uh, so the moped is already blue. Oh, okay. Um, but I did color in like the headlight and like the handle and the wheels and like the scarf too was blank. Okay. So I was able to color that whatever color I wanted. I chose okay. yellow. I and thought that would look nice. The too, right? Yeah, and the seat and the wheels and like the little puffs. I added a bit of shading on there too. Oh, nice. So you've done some work ahead of time, right? We I not have. only did you color the fox, but you also did the background. What did you use for that? So we used the Let's Go Shopping stamp set for the background. And I really just wanted like some shops to make like a cute little downtown area that just felt nice and cozy. So I put some books in a bookstore. And then I put some lights in that top floor, and then I made a little restaurant over there. Cute. And I just think it looks so cute and cozy. I know that these are lights, but every time I see them, I think of hangers. Of hangers? <laughs> they kind of <laughs> do look like hangers. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to put little dresses on them, little, little shirts. <laughs> and then this little piece you got from the Le Shop uh, designer paper, mm -hmm. which coordinates with the Let's Go Shopping. And so that's going to go on the cardstock. By the way, this is four inches by five and a quarter. So like a, just a regular card front. And before you put the designer paper on, um, I use the paper trimmer to cut. So let me show you really quick. Um, Claire said, Mom, how do I do this? And so <laughs> I made the magic happen. I lined up the cardstock at the one inch mark over here. And then I used the cutting blade and cut from a half inch down to four and three quarter inches so that I would have a slit about one inch in. And so then the designer paper is one inch by five and a quarter. And so that's gonna fit right underneath the slit. So Claire, you can go ahead and glue that down. This is our little road so that our little fox has somewhere to drive on. He can't just drive on the air. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and he could drive on the air if he wanted to, but then he would be a flying fox. And not a fox on a moped. <laughs> well, back to the future. Oh, that's slightly off.
You know the best way to fix a slightly off is just to use some scissors to trim it. <laughs> well, it was slightly to this way, so if we just do that, there you we are go. Your mother's job. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that looks that looks good. Although we could trim that. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> so we got our card front, and then um, we're gonna make a slider that attaches the fox to the inside piece. So we've got this little tab and it's about a half inch by, I don't know, like two and a half inches or so. And um, you can always cut it if you need to, but you're gonna have this little piece here that comes out the bottom. And that is what the fox is going to end up attaching to. And the inside of that, flip it over, is going to stick down to this center piece, which is going to slide out. So this is about three inches by five, and we need to put some adhesive here to glue it down um, like that. But actually, before we do that, let's pause a second. We want to line this up and punch a little notch um, so that you can easily slide things out. So we're gonna open open that up. This is the one and three quarter inch circle punch. Oh. And so right now we're just holding that card front over the, um, over the card base, but we're gonna punch through both layers, just a little notch. Is that good? Yep. Mm, okay. At us. So now when this is sticking through, like you'll be able to see that card and um, pull it easily. Okay, so back over here we've got this little strip and on the back side we're going to do, we want to do some heavy duty adhesive. So we're going to use the tear and tape. Let's find that roll right here. And we're going to do a little, just a little piece of the tear and tape there. Something nice and heavy duty. Oh, that might be too long. That we can trim it if it is. Well, you can trim it. But look at that, perfect. Oh, no. Okay, good. And so we're just gonna straighten that back out. And then we're going to line up this end. I feel like we're kind of backwards here, but you get the idea. We're gonna line up the slider end right here against that notch and just center it in um, on the card front from top to bottom. So we're gonna just line that up and then come down here and give that a big, a big push there. So we've got this piece that is now connected to that tab in the front. I'm realizing this is a little bit long and I wonder if I just, um, can you hand me the big scissors? Close your eyes, Nana. <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need some extra space here. Um, oh, you know, it really needs to be four and three quarter inches. So let's, we'll just change that measurement in the video description for you. Um, so four and three quarters because we need to have the space here um, to do our adhesive strip. So that's why you need to cut that little bit off. All right, but before we do the adhesive strip and part, start putting things together, if you want to stamp on um, on that slider piece when it comes out, this is the time to do it. So um, I think Claire, you wanted to stamp something great to celebrate, mm -hmm. and that's going to be in the dark blue coastal cabana. I always get so nervous stamping on camera <laughs> because I want it to be centered and perfect. Yes, so just don't rock, just straight up and down. Oh my yeah. gosh, it's perfect! Okay, let's go. <laughs> be our first try. All right, that is perfect. So then we're going to take and we're just going to slide that back down. Doot, doot, doot. Oops, get back in there. That little tab should be on the front. So we're gonna slide it down, we're gonna line it up here, and then we're going to put on some of the adhesive. Before you do that, let's strips. just make sure the fox fits on there because the little puff balls keep getting cut off. So I just wanna make sure he fits with his puff balls. That should be fine. Yeah. Okay, he fits. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Okay, so adhesive foam strips, and you want to kind of keep these, we made a prototype and he was sort of really wobbly, like he was driving under the influence, um, <laughs> which is something that we definitely don't do, right Claire? Definitely not. Okay, so we are going to take the adhesive foam strips and we're going to keep it pretty tight, just around the edges of the, the slider on the back side. And it's okay if it is too long. 
but you just want to make sure that it is not touching the slider at all. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is. I'm going to slide it after this just to make sure. All right. We're good. And even when we sneak our big scissors to cut paper, we definitely don't use them to cut adhesive strips. That's right. <laughs> So we're just kind of creating a nice little nest for the slider. And that will keep the slider straight and right on track. And then it's important to put this piece on the end because this will keep the slider from going too far in um, when it's done sliding. So you wanna make sure that um, there's a stopper in place, so you've got that at the end. Uh oh. There we go. And I just like to test to make sure that it can still slide back and forth, and I didn't accidentally cut, get the edge of the paper. So so I do see a slight little I problem. Do see a slight problem. <laughs> Your that. stopper piece is a little bit crooked. Perfect. This is why it's important to test things first. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to end up with something messed up. All right, so there's the slider. Oh, it's looking so good. Mm -hmm. All right, now what? Um, now we gotta put the box on. Now let's put it on the card. Oh, well we can do that first. <laughs> <laughs> just the box is, you know, really adorable and he's just waiting so patiently. He is waiting so patiently. I think Nana wants you to give a nice big oh, crease okay. on your card. Keep yeah. it nice and flat. You know, Gia tries to eat these. She does. <laughs> I was gonna share that video. I had a whole box of bone folders from the 12 Days of Christmas. And Gracie found the box in the in the front room, and so she just dug in the box and found herself her favorite bone folder and tried to take it away. Hey, what are you, you doing? Those are not for you. Okay, I peeled off all the um, the paper backings, so we're ready to line that up. And I start on the straight end and just kind of try to line it up, come closer to the end. There you go. So then you've got even spacing on the. Um, on the edges and um, the end. Looking go. so smooth, Claire. Look at that. Oh, it's just so fun to slide. <laughs> it's like one of those little fidget toys. You just slide it back, slide it back, slide it back, slide it back. Okay, so to add the fox on, we're going to use a Stampin' Dimensional, but you don't want to be too crazy about adding the Stampin' Dimensional to the fox because you may not hit the slider at the right point, so the, it's best to put that dimensional on the slider itself. Good tip. Good tip. And then you can center your slider piece center. however you want. Like with the fox? Yeah. Okay. I was like, it's already centered. <laughs> well, I mean, you wanted those little um, exhaust puffs to be like inside the edge of the card so they didn't hang over. So that's what I mean. You just want to position it right. Here we go. Oh, that's there's so our little sweet. Fox. That is adorable. Something great to celebrate you. I love it. If you wanted to, you could add some sequins or something here. I didn't bring any out. Do you want to add embellishment or you like it the way it is? Mm, we could add embellishment. <laughs> I, some some I know. I have some iridescent rhinestones over there. We could get some sequins out like that are a little bit more flat. What do you think? Um, Maybe the sequins since it's already like popping out quite a bit. That is true. There's I don't want to make it too thick. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, while you're waiting for your mom. Yeah, bring out the other one. So for the other card, I also, I thought it was missing something too. So I added this little orange tab to the slider just so it could like tie in the color from the fox. And what colors did you use there? 
Oh, so this one, this is Gorgeous Grape on the bottom. And then this is the Highland Heather. Highland Heather. This uh -huh. is Highland Heather for the purple. And I really wanted to do that purple moped. So I went ahead and I was like testing out colors. So we ended up, since it's a, it comes as blue, we actually used Highland Heather like blending, what are those? Stamp blending blend. brushes? Yeah. Stamp and blends. And it actually made it look almost like gorgeous grape. And we were like, oh, okay, that's great. <laughs> and so... <laughs> We, we used it to make the purple moped, and I just added some highlights with using the lighter Highland Heather, and then I colored the darker one around it so that it gave it a bit of pop. Nice. So this or that, which color do you prefer? I don't know. I kind of mm. like the blue. I well, one of the things the you were talking too. about, Claire, is we used the Highland Heather on Highland Heather here. Yeah. And I, afterwards, yeah. you were saying we should have used the darker oh, the color, gorgeous the gorgeous grape. grape. So on yeah. this one, we did Coastal Cabana ink on yeah. Pool Party, and it just stands out a little bit more. Yeah, I, I thought so. this blended in like too much. I think like, I don't know how it looks on the camera, but I think it's a little hard to see. Mm. And so I thought that if we tried the darker one on this option, we could kind of show you like the difference. So like, this is the same color on it, and this is like the darker color. Yeah. And I think I like the darker color better, just cause you can see the details and stuff, which is what yeah, I love right. so much about this stamp set. You want to add some bling? I would love to. I've got two different options here. I brought out the pastel adhesive back sequins. Let's have some gold, pink, and blue. And then this one is called the adhesive backed sequin trio. And this is my favorite, the white. And the then white. there's a peacock and a different a darker pink. So I don't know. What do you think? Um, I'm thinking either the white or the blue. The blue, does that is that the same color? Mm, yeah, it could pass. Close enough. I do have only two smaller blues. We could do I the love white these little see-through blue. sheets that you can kind of like just put it right mm. on the card and see what you think. Mm. The white is more subtle. Yeah, I think the white might be good just because there's already so much like blue on the card. You could go with gold. Ooh, I could go with gold. That would look kind of nice with like the colors from the scarf and the fox. Yeah, yeah. Let's do the gold. All right. Let's try the gold on this one. Where are you going to put them? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you suggest? You're like the um, master of laying out little, little shinies. <laughs> little shinies. So I would put like, you know, I would just kind of put them in a in a triangle. Maybe like... One over here and a couple over here. Oh, like in the windows? Yeah, I mean, for me, it would just be more like embellishments on the card. That's the thing about the embellishments with the background is it's like you wouldn't yeah. just find random sequins on, <laughs> well, on the building. Like little. It could look like little lights. Yeah, you could. You could do little lights. You want to see what that looks like? Yeah, let's try that. Oh, no. They're so small. Now these are adhesive backed sequins, but sometimes when you peel them up, sometimes you can, the glue dot comes off. So you have to kind of make sure that you're. Oh, I think this one got all scrunched up, the glue dot did. Is this what you mean for the lights here? Yeah, in the lights. Kind of like it's like shining out. Yeah, that's kind of fun. So sometimes if you find that it's coming off the glue dot, I just kind of push it down um, oh. so that it, it it bonds, yeah, bonds with the glue dot a little bit more. Oh man, we got a dog hair. I do think I like these sequins. Mm. I think it is just yeah. the perfect little touch to finish this card. I thought there was a little something missing, but I couldn't quite tell what to add. So I think the sequins is a great suggestion. There you go. Oh, oh I that like looks it. nice. I like, I like that. All right, what a great card, Claire. Yeah. Thank you so much for it's sharing with us. I know it's scary, so but you fun. did a good job. You did do a great <laughs> job, Claire. It's so fun stamping with you guys. Oh. I just enjoy it so much. Yeah, I love it. Love you should do it you. more. Yes, yeah. we should. <laughs> All right, well, it's time to move on. I get to share a project next, so let's mm, clean up the desk and switch it over.
All right, it's my turn. Yes, Claire, they all have measurements. Well, you just look so organized coming out here. Everything's like laid out. Next so time, next planned. time you've got to you've got to do uh, I know, I got to step up my game a little bit. You do have to step up your game. <laughs> <laughs> all right i got some pieces ready to share with you i forgot this one though the card base this is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter and then also two and an eighth <laughs> <clears throat> and two and three eighths inch there we go i found it thank you so actually the two and three should be first but Either way, what's happening is you're folding it in half and then you're folding it back in half the other direction to do a Z-fold card. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of a modified Z-fold. It was inspired by Kathy King, who sent me this card for my birthday with that fun little pop-up. And so I've been wanting to copy this and case it. So this is my version using the Zoo Crew. Kathy, thank you so much for your inspiration. So we're doing the same kind of thing. I've got a piece of designer paper to go on the front flap. It is one and seven eighths inch by five and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. And then we have a piece for the inside, which is going to be four by five and a quarter. Sorry, we'll have the measurements in the video description for you as well. And this is going to go on the inside. And then I have a black piece that's three by four and a quarter and two die cuts. These are from my favorite, um, the scallop contour dies. I feel like I haven't used this as much because, um, because I've got some other new favorite dies, but I love these for the versatility. Um, got two of those, one for the front and one for the middle piece. And then the last piece of cardstock is two and a half inches by four inches. And I scored every inch at one, two, and three. And then I just realized that I messed up this piece. <laughs> I actually need to, to do three quarters of an inch instead of one inch. Okay. Three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and then three inches. So this is going to be two and a half by three inches, scored at three quarters, one and a half, and two and a quarter. I'll have those measurements for you in the video description. And it's just a little bit smaller, so we're just gonna have not as big of a, um, not as big of a, um, a step there. All right, so I have done some some things ahead of time, including fussy cutting and coloring, a dancing hippo. I haven't used any of the dancers yet, so I had to, I, I just had to do that one. I'm looking for a vellum circle, which also seems to be missing. <laughs> um, oh my goodness gracious. Well, we can do the rest of the card. I'm gonna do some um, stamping on the scalloped rectangles. And so I'm using the something great to celebrate you and you're too wonderful. And so you're too wonderful is going to go. Um, thank you, that actually was a different one. Oh, <laughs> I know. Um, it was a two and three eighths inch circle, mom. Okay. The vellum might still be on the desk. I swear I punched it. Um, and then the something great to celebrate you. And so this, the circle, you know, we could just use the scallop one if you can't find it, mom. I kind of like that one. Oh, she's got it. Well, now we have to do a this or that because Claire said she likes the scallop yeah, one. Yeah, well, just because I think it kind of like looks like the skirt. Oh, you know? like that's a good point. It kind of the skirt. Is there, is there too, is there too much? Oops, it's supposed to go on this oh, one. Oh, you're right. Maybe there is too much. Too, too like, much with the um, scallop. Edges. So, Mom, what do you think? Claire said she likes the decorative circle punch, but... um. Ooh. I was thinking that the regular circle was more like a spotlight. That's what I was thinking right when you put that behind. I'm like, yeah. I think that one looks like a spotlight. Okay, so we'll, do, like we'll do yeah. 
we'll do that. So this is going to be a regular adhesive. Nope. Yes, I'm going to double check my sample. Regular adhesive to go on the circle and then some Stampin' Dimensionals to go on. Where's the other? Here's the other sheet. To go on our rectangle. And then this scallop rectangle for the inside is going to go onto the black cardstock right in the center. Okay, we are ready to get this card put together. So if we're gonna do our stair next, like I said, these are equal three quarter inch pieces. And I'm gonna fold it so that I've got both of the flaps that are on the ends here, and I'm gonna put adhesive on both of them. Oops, that one right on the table <laughs> and then I'm going to get off of it whatever it'll come off later okay <laughs> so so then I'm gonna fold it so that those two are back to back and the open the open end is going to be towards the fold and so I'm gonna put this right inside um, the fold in the center so this is already glued down that was the one side that had the glue and then this is folded in half and then when I close this then it will stick to the inside so you have this little box like that and this piece is going to go right along that and I think for this I'm going to use that tear and tape so that it stays it stays put and doesn't doesn't come off. So this is going to go right up to the edge of that and just kind of centering from top to bottom. Okay. So it pops up, folds flat because that's how we put it on there and then it pops up. And then the front piece is going to go on and you want to line it up so that it's right over the scallop rectangle that's underneath. So I'm going to use some more tear and tape here. I want to make sure I put it on the right the right left side <laughs> um, the correct side is what I was trying to say so this is going to go like I said I'm lining up the edges so that they go right over the other scallop circle and then it's going to adhere to that flap you want to make sure not to put too much adhesive on because you don't want any adhesive here to glue the card closed well it's a little bit off center and so I wanted something just to kind of tie it all together with my, um, and with embellishments. And so I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, but we're still filming, so I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun video. Oh. Uh, okay, so I die cut these flowers from the Zany Zoo Bundle. And I am just going to use glue dots to attach them to the card. I chose Balmy Blue, which is uh, not that color. That's actually Coastal Cabana, I think. <laughs> but I'm using Balmy Blue, and it will be fine. And then we're going to add some iridescent rhinestones. And these come in, um, in three sizes. There's the large, and then the medium, and then the small. So the smallest one is going to go on the flower on the tutu. And then the large one is going to go on the large flower up here. And the medium one. Funny, you're not using your take your pick tool. <laughs> I know, I just found it too, but it's in the other room. <laughs> okay, so I got my rhinestones on my flowers and there is the finished card. I don't know what you call this, kind of like a pop out step card, yeah. Yeah. I guess. But I'm so glad that I tried it. And thank you again to Kathy King for her inspiration. I think it's so much fun. And whether you're using Countryside Inn uh, with the, the florals or something fun like the Zoo Crew, I think this would be a fun card for any occasion. Okay, Mom, you're up next. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, it's my turn. So I have a lot of pieces here. And I a lot of the work is already done. So I'm going to, again, focus mostly on... Um, the assembly of this card. So our card base is basic black, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Our inside piece 
is four inches by five and a quarter of basic white. And I took a strip, a scrap that was laying around, and this will be on the inside of it. Then I have another piece of basic white for the outside, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So basically it's gonna be like a card front, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Then I've got some more of this flower, DSP, and it is four inches by one and three quarter, and you'll need three of them. So I have three here. And then basic white, I have three of these as well. One and three quarter by four and three quarter. And I've scored it at one half inch and three quarters of an inch. And I know you're not going to be able to see it too well on the um, basic white. But anyway, you're going to want three of these. All right. Where to start, where to start, where to start. Mm -hmm. So let us start with... Um, these pieces. Oh, the other thing I did was I um, die cut out some of these crocodiles, and um, this was actually on on the very end of the paper. So um, I thought, oh great, and that's how we're going to start. We're going to start with putting this uh, on here. It's like he's just riding into the picture. I love right? that you used the pieces that were on the end. That's like, what I was yeah. just about to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're going to put these on with um, some dimensionals. And we're gonna take our three, three pieces here. So Julie will have to tell me if I'm still in camera. Yeah, you're looking good. Okay, but I just had them all right in front of me. <laughs> Lordy. All right, so we're gonna put some dimensionals on these bad boys. I might need some little ones too. I think I used them like, like on the wheel. Thanks, Julie. And I know that may seem a little strange, but I wanna make sure he sticks down. All right, so we're gonna take our little guy's backings off. You know, I'm so glad this set is back in and available. Because I think, it, I think, I just think they're cute yeah, all the way they're around. Really cute. It's just all of them are so cute. That's probably why Louise made so many cards, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. Because you so just many, can't there's stop. There's so many to choose from. Like, you just want to yeah. make one with all of them. Yeah. And I know these are kind of like cute to little animals, but I think they're good for cards for all ages. They're Absolutely. not just for kids. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. I just think they're so fun. Yeah, they are very fun. I, you know, just, I don't normally go in for the cutesy kind, but I don't know. There was something about these guys that just <laughs> drew my attention. I feel like they just brighten your day, you know? That's what I was going to say. Like, like, I think getting just, any of these cards would just make me smile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, happy mail, but like, cute little animals in your happy mail. So it's extra happy mail. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this guy is going to kind of go here. He's just tooling along. And one more of these. This is just kind of a fun little card that um, I had fun making it. Mm -hmm. I had I wanted to do something a little different, and so I just sat and played, and I thought, oh, I know what we're going to do, and lo and behold. Mm -hmm. All right, so this guy is going to come right to the edge. As a matter of fact, he's going to kind of be off a little bit because he's driving away or riding away. So I'm going to take my snips, well, Julie snips because we're at her house, <laughs> And I'm going to snip off just a very little bit. There we go. Oh, I'm going to take my card. I'm going to take this piece. That's what I'm going to do. And I've got some nice creases. 
And I'm going to use some, uh, I guess we'll use this one up, huh? I'm going to use a little bit of tear and tape. It's terrible. It's terrible? <laughs> it's terrible. What's terrible? It's the terrible. Tape. The tape is terrible. It's, oh, you guys. <laughs> Oh, he's just to tell the kids that. It's my terrible tape. And they were like, why are you using it if it's terrible? <laughs> because it's so terrible. Tear. Yeah, tear. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Terrible. You guys are horrible. We get, we get our jokes from Dad. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All right. Let me try to get this crease in here. All right, so. Uh, I'm curious about all these extra creases. I didn't realize that when I saw your sample. Yeah, I got something on here, but it'll be okay. It gets covered up, right? Yes, it does get covered up. So what I'm what I want to try to do is get these spaced so that they're kind of even. Okay, so um, these are going to go on here, but I want to put some ribbon here first. Oh. Uh, and actually, let me get my stamping done, which is why I stopped in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm going to start with uh, this one, something great. So I want this about here. With a little confetti. Ooh, I almost rocked that bad boy. You're too wonderful. So I'm going to open this flap here and kind of go in the middle. With the confetti. I still stamped it crooked, even though I'm doing it again. No, I think it looks good. I and it looks good. yeah, it's going to have to be because mm -hmm. here we are. And then happy birthday to you is the end. And that goes in this little corner here. And I'm going to kind of go down a little bit because I'm going to put two confettis on this one. All right. Let's close up this ink before Julie. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but it was the open that whole time and you wondered how you got ink on your cards back. Yeah, 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 all right. All right, so now I'm gonna put some ribbon here. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, she's only gonna put one piece, but I'm gonna cut it. So this is how I did it before. So we'll see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna dot some glue along this little margin here. And then I'm just going to put it down. And I have to hold it for a, a wee bit. Until it dries a little bit. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, you're going to need a little more here. Alrighty. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, son of a biscuit. I, I do not. If it's just the different ribbon, because on the oh, other that's card, true. Used I used a different, a different ribbon. ribbon. I used some shimmer ribbon. Which? It's going to stay now. Right? We'll let that dry for a minute. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and put our pieces on here while that dries. I'm not going to try to cut it. Uh, where's the seal, ladies? It's right in front of me. All right. <laughs> this is a cute card, I promise. <laughs> It is. It's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> All right. So then this is just going to cover this whole thing. And 
then this one's going to go in the middle. I realized after when um, I was showing the suite that I um, used a different ribbon on my first card that I made. But I thought I really should use the ribbon that's in the suite. So I thought I'll just use that. And the first ribbon, as you will see when I show you my sample, <laughs> is that it stayed down very nicely. I didn't have a problem at all with it adhering. That's what I get for trying to be creative, right? <laughs> okay. So this is gonna kind of fold back. As so well, do you glue that down like a book binding? I didn't. Okay. I just wanted to be able to open it without, you know, and just have something there to kind of. All right, let's see if this works now. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip it. That's all I'm going to do is just snip it. <laughs> I'm going to just snip it. <laughs> okay. But I do want to add a little bit of color to this, and not much. I'm not going to color in all the flowers, but I'm going to use the fine tip on here. And I'll use the fine tip on the green. Thank you, Julie. And I'm just gonna select a few. Oh, I love that little touch. Yeah. And actually, I want the light one. I'll grab the wrong one. I want the light one. Doesn't, not that it necessarily that matters. That always happens to me where I yeah. <laughs> grab the dark one, I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's not what I wanted, but that's, that's okay. I have one dark one. Too. Yep, absolutely. And I'm just I randomly picking a few flowers on each one. I love that touch. It ties into the flowers in the basket. Yeah, exactly. And then let's see. Let's do this guy. Yeah, this guy. And one down here. And we're going to keep these out because I'm going to do the confetti on the inside too very quickly. So here I'm just going to do a few leaves wherever there's leaves on this guy. And then here. Okay. So now we're going to flip this open. And we're going to do a green oh, star so there fun. and there. I didn't think and about we'll coloring the confetti. Just a few little dots here and a few little dots here. And then a few little confettis here. The star on this one and the star on this one. And a little confetti there. That's it. All right, we're almost done, I promise. So now we're gonna put this on our black card base. And again, um, I'm going to use some tear and tape on the back of this piece, just because I have a lot of cardstock here, a lot of paper mm. going on. So we're gonna add some strips of this. And I think this side needs a little extra help. <laughs> and I'll just do one more in the center. And then I think your roll is empty here, Jules. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'll just do this. All right. Now we're going to add this to the black card base. And 
And then I just have to do the inside piece, which is just a, just a little bit. And then this card will be done and we can show off all of our cards. So I'm going to stick this down here. A little hair. <laughs> oh, a little hair in there. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, and then the inside is going to be this piece. And I already colored in some of those flowers before I got here. This is gonna go right on the bottom. I don't think I'm in camera. How's that, Jules? Is that okay? Yeah, looking good. There, and then put this on the inside so you have some place to write your note. Phew! It's done! Yay! There it is! What a fun card! So just so you, this is the ribbon I used on my prototype, because I forgot that this ribbon came with the sweet. Mm. So I thought I would just try that. So anyway, there so it is. So cute. Yeah. All right, I think it's time to turn the camera around so that we can show you our cards. Yeah. Okay, one last time. <laughs> and here are our cards. <laughs> Fun with the Zoo Crew Suite. I'm so glad that we got to stamp together. And Claire, thank you so much for being our oh, special guest. Of course, guest. I had so much fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was. And I guess we should try to apologize. It's a long video. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed all the projects that we shared today, yeah. even though it was long. I think we had some special projects. And I know I feel really inspired to keep playing with the Zoo Crew Suite. And I'm so, so excited. It's in the annual catalog, so we've got it for like six. Nine more months. At Lots. least. It, it <laughs> Lots may be longer. Time. We don't That's know. That's true. For sure. That's true. But, you know, because it's been such a long video, <laughs> we're going to end with Until Next Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.